let's now look at the topic of headlocks. The headlock, as most people know who are interested in self-defense, is the most common grappling technique you're going to face in the real world. There's a lot of defenses taught by different schools. Some of them are better than others. What I want to do is give you a breakdown here, a conceptual package, so you can understand where your headlock defense fits in this framework. It's a really simple idea, but it helps me organize my material, and you'll be able to see if you know some defenses, where exactly they fit in, and the way I'm going to instruct the headlock defense portion is following these guidelines. So this is true of any self-defense technique, but let's look at it from the headlock perspective. The attack begins the moment the attacker makes a conscious decision to launch his attack. So there's a beginning phase as he moves towards you. Then he's going to get a hold of your neck. He's going to pull you in tighter. He's going to pull you down. Then he may break your balance and you hit the ground. And then he may end up on top of you. So there is the whole physical motion of the headlock. The opportunity to defend yourself may happen at any time along that time continuum. Obviously, some positions are more difficult than others. When the attacker moves quickly and, and really aggressively, you're going to move through those phases really quickly. You may end up pinned on the ground, and then you're going to have to defend from there because there's nowhere else to go. That's understood. But if the opportunity to defend yourself comes earlier rather than later, you should take that opportunity, obviously. But many schools don't have a full self-defense curriculum. And I'm talking about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu schools which invented this stuff and have the best headlock defenses in the world. Most of them might have one or two. If you wait too long on that time continuum, it gets more difficult. So we're going to divide our defenses into early, on time, late, and very late once we hit the ground. Let's look at standing headlocks early defense. Like we talked about earlier, there's a continuum, a time, a sliding scale from the moment the attacker decides to attack you until he puts you possibly on the ground. It gets more difficult as we get farther down the continuum because the attacker is closer to you, his grip is locked on tighter, and he has more weight against you, particularly once you hit the ground.